now let's talk about power so power is defined as uh, the let at which work is done by a force okay so power is work divided by time and we do know that uh, work is in joules and time is in seconds meaning we can say that uh, the SI unit for power is joules per second but this joules per second is the same as watts so the SI unit for wa uh, for power is watts which is denoted by a symbol W capital letter so in one watt there is one joule per second as simple as that now another SI unit for power is horsepower now this horsepower the relationship between watts and horsepower is that in one horsepower there is 746 watts that is also very very important because they're going to be asking you the questions to say put your answer in horsepower so what you have to understand is that in one horsepower there is 746 watts now let's talk more about power we are saying that power is work divided by time but remember we say that work is force times the distance okay now I'm going to replace this with force uh, I'm going to replace this with uh, the force time distance so where there is work let's put F times D so I'm going to say that power is going to be the force time distance divided by time but I can isolate these two so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say that power is going to be the force times distance divided by time so now let's talk about this distance divided by time is the velocity because we know that velocity is distance divided by time so I can replace this with velocity so I can say that power is going to be the force times the velocity so this is another formula for power so if you have the force you have the velocity you can also find what power then if you have the work direct you also have the time you can find the what the the power so now in general what we're talking about here is that power these are the two formulas another formula is going to be the force times the velocity but now in a case where you've been um, given the force which is applied at an angle this formula is going to be power is going to be F cos theta times V so these are the formulas we have this we have this although this is the same as this only that when you've been given the force which is applied at an angle you can use this or you can use this as simple as that now in some cases they might give you um the force which you can use it can be maybe the weight of that object let's assume to say you are lifting an object okay so if you're lifting an object then the force which is going to be there is going to be the weight of that object okay so this is what you need to understand under power now i have got few questions here let's see how we can solve them i have the first question which is saying an electric motor mounted on a pickup truck exerts a force of 2000 newton on a cable fixed to a tree and pulls the pickup truck a distance of 15 meters in a minute what is power supplied by the electric motor a in joules b in horsepower okay so we don't have velocity we have the force okay and we have um, what else do we have so we can see that hmm, this is just dilate work uh, we know that hmm, power is uh, given by work divided by time but we've been told we know that work we don't have work right work is force time distance we have the force we have the distance if I want I can I can put this here I can say 
if you want you can just find the work dialect here and plug in the values or you can replace work with force time distance divided by time now the time here they are saying in a minute meaning in a minute one minute we have uh, 60 seconds so the time in this case is going to be 60 seconds so we have the force which is 2000 times the distance which is 15 divided by 60 so we can see that um, we are going to have a, 20, a 2000 times 15 divided by 60 so I'm getting a 500 watts so power is 500 watts so that is it for part A in joules. Now they want us to convert this answer again to what? To horsepower. Remember we said using dimension analysis, okay, we know that in one horsepower there is 746 watts. Okay, so we can say x if you want. Okay, we have how many watts? 500 watts. And then you cross multiply. But I'm going to show you how to use dimension analysis to convert this into what? But you can use that one. It's okay. You're going to find the same ones. So we're going to say that we have 500 watts. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do times. We're going to set the units in such a way that they should cancel each other. So we're going to say that in one horsepower, in one horsepower, how many watts do we have? Okay. So in one horsepower, we have 746 watts. Now, these watts can cancel because we want our answer to be in horsepower. These two can cancel. And we can see that we're going to have a 500 divided by 746. And we end up having 0 0.67. 0 0.67 horsepower. Okay. So if I want to convert from horsepower, let's say we have this one. Let me just get rid of this. I want to convert horsepower to power. So for example, in this case, we have found that it is a 0 0.67 horsepower. What if I want to convert this into uh, watts? So you set the units in such a way that they should cancel each other. We know that um, in one horsepower, there is 746 watts. So we can see that horsepower and horsepower will cancel. Then you are going to see, to say 0 0.67 times 746 which is going to give me 499.82 I can round it off and say this is the same as a 500 watts so as you can see this is the watts which we had okay now let's have another question so let's have this question so this question is saying a scar of mass seven uh, seventy kg is pulled up, is, uh, is pulled up a slope by a motor driving cable. But a, how much work is required to pull, uh, to pull up um up to sixty meters at an angle of thirty degrees slope. Assume there is no friction at a constant speed of 2 meters per second but b what power expressed in horsepower must a motor have to perform this task okay so as we can see let's just come up with a general formula for power we said power is work divided at time but the first question is asking us to find the work okay so the work is force time distance but if it is applied at an angle the work is f cos theta times distance 
do you expect our answer to be negative or positive there is no friction work done by the friction is the one which is going to be negative but in this case is work done by the force okay not friction force but by that mass meaning it is going to be the mg the weight of that motor okay so it was applied at an angle what we have to understand there is that we are going to have um mg which is going to be the weight of that one cos theta times d so work done is going to be the mass is 70 times 9.8 cos 30 at, at a distance of 60 meters up okay now what we have to understand here is that we have the mass which is 70 times 9.8 which is uh, is giving me so we're going to have work will be equal to 68.6 cos 30 times 60 which is the distance so we can now see that um, the work done we're going to have 68.6 cos 30 the answer i find times 60 so i'm getting my work to be 3564.56 joules so this is going to be my my work now they are saying that uh, what is power so in this case we have the work okay and we have the the velocity but we don't have time okay now from this point we can see that uh, if we have our work let's just put it here work is that 5 is 3564.56 joules let's get rid of this now now it is very very important for us to understand that uh, since we don't have time in this case we have the velocity therefore the power is going to be the force times uh, the velocity but uh, we have to find the force okay we have the velocity but we have this we can find the force from here okay if we want since it was applied at an angle if we want we can say that work or you can just do direct from here but it's going to be the work is equal to f cos theta times d but we have found this one already the work which is um so in short i'm trying to make i can divide both sides by cos theta times d even here cos theta times d so i'm going to say that my force will be equal to the work divided by cos theta times d now let's plug in the values we see what force we are going to have so force will be equal to we are going to have 3564.56 we divide it by cos um, 30 degrees times 60 meters so what are we going to have 300 and 3564.56 then we divide this by 60 the same as 60 cos 30 which is giving me 68 68.5 68.59 which is the same as 68.6 okay so 68.6 this one is going to be our force so we can now plug in the values because it was applied at an angle that's the reason why we can't just say the force is mg it's supposed to be mg cos theta because it was applied at an angle okay so we are going to say power is going to be 68 it's a force 0.6 okay 
68.6 times the velocity which is 2 so power will be equal to 68.6 times 2 so it's going to be 137.2 watts now the question is saying in horsepower so we have to convert this which is uh, watts to horsepower and to convert this we are going to say in one horsepower there is 700, 746 um, watts so watts and watts will cancel this divided by 746 which is going to give me 0 0.184 horsepower as simple as that so this is what you need to understand under power